Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Brandy and I am going to do something kind of fun today. Today I thought it would be great if I did a get ready with me using the new Essence palette that we talked about in my last video. I wanted to try out the Fairy Wings and Magical Things. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's actually like. I wanted to give you an idea of what it's actually like using brushes and see how it applies on the eye. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do. And also I wanted to do some little fun facts about me, about Brandy, while I get ready, just so we can chat and get to know one another. Thank you so much for joining me and let's get started. So first I'm going to start by priming my face. I'm going to use the Primed and Peachy Too Faced primer here. And I've talked about this before, I really love it. It goes on the skin really nice, it has a cooling effect, fills in the pores. So I'm not going to just do a specific number, I'm just going to kind of tell you some things about me that are pretty simple and, and fun just so you have an idea of who I am and the things I like. So first of all, I have a 10 year old Chihuahua, his name is Duke, you've probably seen him in one of my videos or two of my videos, you've probably heard him too. He um, likes to howl when the phone rings and when people come to the door. He's very adorable. I love him very much. I'm using the it, Cosmet it Cosmetics CC Cream for my foundation. I'll probably insert a picture of what he looked like so you can see. He's so adorable. We love him. He's just super entertaining, hilarious, loving, not a typical chihuahua. And I have two teenage daughters and two stepsons that are in their 20s. I really like Stephen King books. My favorite book of all time is a book by Stephen King that's called Everything's Eventual. And it is a book full of short stories by Stephen King. And out of that book, my favorite story is Everything's Eventual. It's a great story. I have reread that book probably 50 times. I just, I love it. It's so great to read it before bed. I know, Stephen King, before bed nightmares. No, these stories are, they're pretty calm. They're just, they're thrillers, they're suspense, they're mystery kind of type stories. I love them. If you ever see it, everything's eventual. I recommend reading it. It's great because you can like read one story before you go to bed because they're pretty short and you feel like that you've actually accomplished something. <laughs> Stephen King, favorite author. Love them. It's great. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lid Lock Primer for my eyes. Just gonna put some of that on. And I just apply it with my finger. I'd have to say, just this silly little fact, my favorite color is probably red, followed by pink. I love red. I'm really starting to love red more and more as I get older. Everything I have, I feel like, is red or pink. Even my kitchen, everything is red in my kitchen, so... really like red. The Makeup Forever High Def Concealer. This is in the shade Y23. Go under my eyes. I like this concealer. I just wish that it had a doe foot applicator, because I find it a little bit difficult. It's messy to apply. Not difficult, it's messy. Oh, favorite drink I would have to say is iced coffee, specifically with vanilla in it. I love vanilla iced coffee. It's so good. I don't like regular coffee. I, I don't know what it is with hot drinks, but I'm not a fan. Even in the winter, I will drink iced coffee. And living in Canada, people think I'm pretty crazy when it's like minus 30 out and I still have an iced coffee. So as you know, I've said many times I live in Canada. I'm originally from Texas. I was born and raised there. So I'm a proud Texan. As you probably know, uh, makeup products, I would have to say that lipstick is my favorite thing to have, to collect, to buy. I just love lipstick. All kinds of lipstick, colors, formulas, it doesn't matter lip person, big time. And I'm actually going to do a video here soon, top 
five favorite drugstore lipsticks and top five favorite high-end lipsticks. On the makeup topic, another fun fact, I've never worn false lashes except for once. Here's the Sephora press powder that I talked about in my last video. This is just their pressed powder. It gives me a little bit of coverage and this is in the shade light. I'm just going to set just take away a little bit of the shininess because the CC cream is a little bit dewy, which is fine. But I like a little bit more of a matte look. I don't want to look greasy all day. More fun facts about me. I can drive a manual, stick shift. And what is up with cars not being manual these days? It's so hard to find one. I prefer driving a manual. It just like gives me something to do. And with winter driving, it's really needed. I'm going down hills up hills in the winter without a stick is challenging. I am afraid of snakes. I absolutely hate them. Hate them, hate them. I have phobia of them. I don't even like looking at pictures of them. Hate seeing them on TV. Yeah. Um, next I'm going to use the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte to set my under eye. I talked about this before as well. It's another brandy favorite. Just gonna set my eye primer with it. The last brush that I used to set my entire face with that Sephora powder was the Sephora Sephora powder brush in the number 45 mineral powder, but I use it for pressed powder. I can play the flute. I do still have my flute from school. Next, I'm going to do my brows. We're going to use the L'Oreal Brow Artist. And I'm just going to brush these out. Really need to get my brows done. I'm just putting it off and procrastinating about it. Next I'm going to do some eyeliner. I'm going to use the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. And I will be right back. I just did my inner lid and um, my waterline, so this is done. And again, this actually. This is in the shade Fishnet, and again, this is the Always On Gel Liner by Smashbox. Next, I'm going to do my eyes, and again, we're going to use the Fairy Wings and Magical Things, but I brought the Smashbox cover shots because the Fairy Wings palette doesn't have a lot of mattes, and it needs uh, a couple of mattes just to have a base. To do. And I'm going to use this cover shots palette. I'm going to use this cover shots palette. I'm going to just take this first shade here, it's in the shade Nude, and I'm just going to kind of apply everything. Okay, so now that I have the base on the lid ready to go, I'm ready to jump into the Fairy Wings and Magical Things palette. I have decided to, I'm going to do a blue look today. I might change my shirt, I'm just kind of like, this is just casual brandy here. But I've decided I'm going to use Off to Fantasy Land here. Ooh, that's powdery. Okay, I'm just going to top off my brush. We're going to see how this applies. I'm using these Eco Tools brushes. They're dual ended. This is a little shimmery. It's okay to use some shimmer in your crease. It's not the end of the world. So guys, I can't believe it's almost September. Um, I'm really excited though because I love fall. Fall's my favorite season and I absolutely love Halloween. It is my favorite holiday. I know Christmas people, Christmas is great, I love Christmas too, but there's just something something exciting about Halloween. I love seeing the children and they're, they come to the door and they're just so adorable, their little costumes and they're excited and I it just, you know, the smell of the air, the beautiful colors, it's, it's fantastic. It's my favorite time of year. It's a pretty color though. Beautiful this shade is. Um, it is just the nice beautiful blue here on the bottom. 
we're going to use that on the outer corner of the eye and back in, back up into random makeup facts about brandy i not a huge nail polish fan. I wear nail polish on my toes usually all the time, but I do not like painting my fingernails. I think it's beautiful, it's fun, it's relaxing when I do it. However, it chips really easily and then I find I need to like take it all off and reapply it or touch it up and I never want to look unpolished. Like Okay, so I'm using Mermazing in the outer corner. It's okay on the brush. Just try seeing what it does on my finger. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna kind of bring it up a little bit. Some of my favorite TV shows are X Files. Love X Files. Star Trek. I'm a huge Trekkie. Next Generation. Captain Picard. You are my hero. I really hope I meet Patrick Stewart someday. It's on my bucket list. He's one of the few celebrities that I've always wanted to meet that I haven't actually gotten the opportunity. I have met quite a few celebrities. Um, I will talk about that some other time. The list is long and. I'm quite the fangirl when it comes to the shows that I do love. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is another one. Adore that show. Been a huge fan since I was a teenager. Now I think we're going to use a little bit of Off to Fantasy Land. That is, again, this color here. I'm just going to use a little bit more of it. Bring it above the eye a little bit more. Unicorn Tears, we're going to try that out and see how that goes on the lid. I'm going to use my finger for this. It's very, it's kind of a holographic blue undertone. It's not as shimmery as I would like. Hmm. It's swatched really well, but on my lid, it's not working out how I planned. Let's try it with a brush and just see how that goes. I'm going to try using, I'm going to try using this new Sephora Precious Gems brush. This is like the lid brush. It's really good to pack color on the lid. Just picking up a little bit of that. It might be working a bit better with the brush. Yeah, I think it's better with the brush. I have one brother and one sister. They are both quite a bit younger than me. My sister is nine years younger than me and my brother is 14 or 15 years younger than me. It's quite a bit of an age difference, but they're really great. I love them both. If I can get more of an impact of color. very blue. It's very blue. It's a very colorful look. Normally I don't do this much color, but I'm off today, not working, so let's just make it a little bit more exciting. And next I think I'm going to use True Shade on the bottom. Just going to clean off my brush here. I'm gonna just take this a bit above the other colors, above my crease. Kinda do a halo effect. this pretty shimmery color here. I'm gonna try to put that a little bit on my lid and see, I'm gonna use my finger because it is super glittery, and see if I can get some of the um, impact that I'm looking for here. I'm gonna try the inner corner to the 
first third of my eye. It's pretty glittery, so I don't know how it's going to work because they didn't use a glitter glue. Put it in the inner corner. And I'm also an introvert, guys. I am very, very introverted. I love my quiet time. I'm probably the least extroverted person in the universe, so doing YouTube is quite different for someone with my personality type, but I'm enjoying it, I think. So that's the final eye look. I'm pretty happy with that. I think now I'm going to do some eyeliner and mascara, and I will be right back. So everyone, I'm done with my liner. I used the Kat Von D 10th year anniversary eyeliner. So I did that. Uh, next I decided I'm gonna put a little bit of color under my lower lash line. And I think I'm gonna do some pink under there just to kind of make everything cohesive. I'm gonna go back into the um, Love's, True Love's Kiss. And I'm using this Precious Gems Sephora brush. Okay. And I'm just putting that on the lower lash line to just bring some of the color down. Good. Pretty good by my standards anyway. I know some of you are experts and I am not just somebody who loves makeup. Do um, lashes. I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I figured since I'm using the Essence palette, I should use some of this mascara. Actually, and it's relatively inexpensive. As music goes, I don't listen to Top 40. I used to when I was younger. I just can't get into Top 40 now. I'm more of a 90s music girl, 80s music, love Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode is one of my favorite bands of all time. So hits today, can't even tell you what they are. Um, my daughter listens to some pretty decent music, so I'm quite impressed with her choice of music. Next I'm going to do blush. I'm going to use the Milani blush and tea rose here. If you've seen these, these are fantastic blushes. If you see these in Walmart, um, Walmart carries Milani, at least in Canada they do, get one of these. They're fantastic. Look, the packaging alone is super beautiful. The color is beautiful. So I'm going to use this today. And I, I don't use a bronzer too much. Everyone's Quo Brush, Canadian drugstore brand. Next, I'm going to use the Tarte Rainbow Highlighter in Spellbound Glow today. Since I'm doing a pastel rainbow kind of theme, I thought it would be fun to use this highlighter. And I've used it a couple of times. It smells like vanilla cake. It's, it's super cool. I, I love this highlighter. I'm going to use my Sephora Precious Gems brush. Pick up a bit here. I'm just going to kind of go in between all the colors and put that right along my cheekbone. But it is beautiful. It's a beautiful highlighter. It's the face. Next we're going to do lips and today I'm going to use one of my favorite products. It's discontinued. I'm very sorry but I really wanted to wear it today. It's the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lip pencil in the color Scandal and it's a nice like radish electric pink kind of color so again if you do really like this color there is a dupe for it and Bite Beauty makes a color called Radish. It's the exact same color it just doesn't have a little bit of shimmer in it so if you really like this color I would recommend picking that up it's beautiful. I love that one. And again, this is the Urban Decay Super Saturated Lipstick Lip Pencil. I really love it. It's uh, shimmery, it's kind of glossy, but it doesn't feel like a gloss. It's a little bit sticky. It's beautiful. It lasts a really long time. I only have to apply this maybe once or maybe retouch in a few hours. It's got some lasting power. I'm sad they disappeared. They discontinued this. I did contact Urban Decay and asked them if they were ever going to 
remake this again if they had anything similar and they told me to try the liquid lip in Scandal. I'm not a fan of their liquid lips so really sad I'm gonna hang on to this as long as I can. I, I use it when I can. And that's all I got. This is the finished look for today. I'm not going to use a setting spray. Ignore my hair. And I have had a lot of fun talking to you guys. Hopefully you see some products here that you like. And if you see the Essence Furry Wings and Magical Things palette and you're interested in it, I say pick it up. It's really pretty. It's got some beautiful pastels in here. Maybe you can do a look that's beautiful on yourself or be super creative. There's lots of color choices in here. I could see this being used in many versatile ways. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you in my next video. Please feel free to subscribe, leave comments below, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.